Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show with your host, Mr. A. That is I. Thank you for tuning in. New viewers, thank you for giving the show a chance, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show, where we cover champions and number one through 15 talk belts. And today we are awaiting the scorecards, which should be a unanimous decision for uh, Uvis Ulis. Who's a high number six in the WBC? Number nine in the BF and number 13 in the BO. So the, only the BA does not have him ranked. So, all right, winner by unanimous decision, of course. Now, the first three rounds of this eight rounder, now, like they, they said, it would have been nice. For him to finish this with a bang of a knockout. Because at 140, and with Yuli's um, skill set, I think he could hang with them. I think he could mess with the, the BA champion relic. Uh, him and Regis might be a good fight, I'll be honest. It looked like he has the skill set against the movement. And his pop shot in with the power that he has against Regis come forward stalking style, you know, counter punching. That'd be a good fight. Good fight. It, it'd be like uh, who has a chin in that fight? Does Judas has a chin that we haven't seen yet? You know, his, his one loss has been Kato. You figure Jose Ramirez, a brute style kind of. Ivan Baranchik, I think can hang. He like I said, he, skill, skill for skill, uh, Ulysses can hang. And number five in the WBA, uh, Foley just lost. So even the Ulysses ain't ranked in there. Well, maybe this rank and Foley's loss, he could take his spot. You know, maybe something. But yeah, that's where that Ulysses is not ranked in the WBA. But he started this fight out. First three, like I said, were competitive. You know. He had the cleaner work while Barrera, um, the name Barrera, he had the the effort work. You know, it, it was the, it was game. You could see he was game, but his game effort was still a losing effort. Uh, what was it? B Max, Maximilian Mino, B Sierra. We call him Max. You know, we could see that. The game effort, he was falling short, but making the round somewhat competitive, not a landslide for the first three. Four was a little interesting, but five, it seemed like uh, like three, four or five is where Ulysses kind of seemed like, okay, I don't have to move as much. I'm going to stay in front of him. And then five is where it really just to showcase the skills. I, he, I know he knocked him down, I think, in rounds eight and nine. But, you know, with each being delayed shots, you know, knocked him down to a, with a nice hook to the body. He backed up, and then he drops. No, it, it, no, it looks like a body shot. Looks like a body shot, <laughs> but it was a chin shot, and he reacts like a body shot. He he walks down, he takes a knee, then he gets up like Ugh. like that. It's just, he had the reactions of a liver shot, like that. With this win, it's an impressive win for Ulysses. With his skill set and his rankings, I, I, like I said, at the number six spot in the WBC, you don't think he's going to take really a step backwards. And you, know, you, why would you? So him being forward is Lipinitz at number five, Postal at number four, Mimoon at number three. That'd be a good fight. I didn't. I did not know Mimu was that high. He's another one who doesn't have that punch and power, but he has some skill set with some reach. Then you got Linares and Taylor at two and one. Then Progress Ramirez. So Ulis, Yves Ulis, he's at number six. He's his road forward is tough. It's it's nice. I want to say tough. It's 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 yeah it's tough. It's competitive. It's a nice one in the WBC. Lipinitz still trying to prove himself. You know, he, he's a mover slash puncher. Postal trying to prove he's still around. I mean, Moon's coming out of nowhere. You know, he, he's probably the softest of the punchers. But the way he moves around the ring, you might want to say he's the craftier. 
of the bunch. Then the WBA, where he, that's why he's not even ranked in there. So why why discuss his competition in that one? Now again, IBF is where things get a little interesting because even though he's ranked number nine, you gotta remember the IBF, which is the champion. Baranchik is kind of pointless to mention him because the WBSS tournament's going on, and that anyone could come out walking with the IBF. But right now it's Ivan Baranchik. Again, Usyk is number nine in that division, but is he really? Because the IBF always has number one and two empty for eliminator spots, so he's number nine. So technically four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's number what, six. So he's number six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry. Hey. Blah. Fucked up on that, man. He's number seven. And ahead of him, Yegit, who lost in the tournament to Baranchik. Number seven, Ipanian Sirak Sirikrian. I, I never seen him. Never heard of him, seen him. Number six, Sergey Lipinitz, Oroki Koda. Akari Kondo and Josh Taylor. No, I'm, I, I think that route might be a little easier than the WBC route we wrote, we read. And then as the WBO, number 12, he has a whole bunch of names. He's deep down at number 12 at the WBO. He has just a good year or two fights in the WBO. Just going through names. So if he wants to make a quick hardcore case for himself, WBC route is the route to go for this guy. Uh, this is a e no, this is a the zone car. U Ulysses, I think he can work with anyone. He's on Sergey Lipinitz, Postal, Mimoon, Linares, and Taylor route. That's gonna be a nice future for. Uh, Usually, obviously, he ain't going to fight them all, but to get to his promised land, he's going to have to at least fight probably one or two of those guys out of those six, out of those five's names, and six being a champion. If it if it goes the way of fans would like to see it, you know? This is the double RT boxing show. Like I said, Ulysses came out first round, started it, filled them out. Broke him down. Round five, stood in the pocket, started putting combinations on him. Consistently working the body stab jab, opening it up to overhand rights. That led to those stunning late reactions. Dropped him in the eighth. And then later again, buckled him. And then he buckled his knee with a right. And then uh, he backed up and took another knee. With So the right was there. It was landing. It just he didn't finish him. Everything else was looking good. The counters, the, the moving, the the pop shot in, at the end for power shots, the combinations in the beginning. Like I said, skill set, you think he could hang with the top three and champions right now. But he just needs to still get his work and get those uh, scalps of the, the people ahead of him. Got to collect those scalps. If they want to fucking be mad at the fight, but you know, like I said, if it all works out the way the fans want and f climb the ladders, get and do the system, uh, there's a, there's some good scalps out there for him to collect. The Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Thanks for your time and support.